Yesterday, lakhs of people across the world and in India were performing yoga. It was a hugely successful event for the Narendra Modi government and indeed for the country. But there has been a controversy that has left a bitter taste. The BJP General Secretary Ram Madhav targeting Vice President Hamid Ansari for allegedly skipping the event only to realize that his tweets were nothing but a blunder. Hamid Ansari's office had clarified last night that he wasn't even invited. And now the government is trying to desperately firefight. Smita Sharma reports. Shwaas bharte huye, apne haato ko upar uthaye aur hateliyo ko jodhe. It was a day when the entire world stretched and chanted with India on the International Yoga Day. But back home, some blunders were ready to become headlines. BJP General Secretary Ram Madhav targeted none other than the Vice President for not attending the yoga event held at Rajpath. And his second target was the Rajya Sabha TV. Realizing his blunder, Ram Madhav shot another tweet, again laced with wrong information, claiming that Ansari couldn't come as he was unwell. Vice President's office immediately rebutted Ram Madhav's claim and said that Ansari wasn't invited. Ram Madhav then decided to erase controversy from Twitter, but the damage had already been done. The government scrambling for a damage control. He apologized, no? Yeah, we don't need statement. He's apologized. Such, such things should not be happen again. Everybody should take care of this. Yeah. An embarrassed Ram Madhav too, attempting a feeble U-turn. It is shows their divisive nature. Even in yoga, they want to get their divisive nature, uh, propagate their divisive nature, which the Congress is against. This is not the first time that the vice president was under attack due to misinformation. During the Republic Day celebrations, he was questioned as he didn't salute the national flag. But it emerged later that he was only following the protocol. Questioning a constitutional authority because of his minority religious affiliation is a new law in Indian politics. And perhaps the controversy could have been silenced if only Ram Madhav had picked up the phone and apologized personally to Hamid Ansari. But the vice president's office sources seem to suggest that no such call has been made and a yoga event that was meant to be a celebration has now turned into an unfortunate controversy. In New Delhi, the journalist Sanjeev, this is Smita Sharma for India Today. So success and controversy. Joining me now is the Ayush minister in the Narendra Modi government, Mr. Shripad Naik. I'm also joined by former Congress Minister uh, RPN Singh, but Shripat Naik, first of all, congratulations on successfully organizing International Yoga Day. But would you concede, sir, that the manner in which Ram Madhav tweeted about the vice president of the country, virtually questioning his attendance, uh, his non attendance at the event, questioning Rajya Sabha TV not covering it live, both of which turned out to be false later, has cast some kind of a shadow left a bitter taste in the mouth. Either Mr. Ram Madhav doesn't know the protocol, that the fact is that the... Sorry, can we start that again? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. And joining me now is the Ayush minister in the Narendra Modi government, Shripad Naik, also from the Congress, its former minister, RPN Singh. First to you, Shripad Naik. First of all, congratulations on the successful organization of International Yoga Day. But would you concede that amidst the celebration, the manner in which your senior leader, Ram Madhav, appeared to target the vice president has left a bitter taste in the mouth? Either he doesn't know the protocol that the vice president cannot be invited to an event when the prime minister is the chief guest or he was intentionally targeting Hamid Ansari. Would you concede it has left a bitter taste, sir? So you see, uh, Rajiv ji, uh, you say as per warrant of protocol, you already said that. So we cannot call. It is that. But he, he, he has done it unknowingly. He withdraw, our, uh, withdraw his uh, tw uh, Twitter and also apologize for that. No, now uh, that uh, subject is over now. No, you, you yeah. are saying yeah. he has yeah. withdrawn. You are no. saying, sir, he has withdrawn his tweet and the subject is over as far as yeah. you are concerned but the yeah. fact is the subtext seems to be that because Hamid Ansari is an yeah. Indian Muslim in public life 
Therefore, no. he had to prove his patriotism by coming to attend the yoga day function. So somewhere that seems to have left a feeling that the government wanted to prove a point. But certainly Ram Madhav was looking to prove a point. Uh, no, Rajdeep, no, it's not like that. He has agreed, he, he accepted his mistake, no? Once he, once he, once he said it is, uh, it is mistake, then we, uh, 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 vice, vice, vice president should have pardoned him. Uh, that is the way, that is the no, way. No, so, you're Rajdeep, saying, once you're saying, you're saying, once you're it was not a deliberate yeah. mistake. You're saying it was not deliberate, this attack. No, 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 on, no, 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 it's not deliberate. No, no, not deliberate, not deliberate. Rajdeep. If it is deliberate, you have not withdrawn that uh, okay. tutor and uh, he has not apologized also. Okay, can I just yeah, get in right. RPN Singh for a moment? Because RPN Singh, you are hearing the minister saying that the matter should be closed now because uh, because the, the concerned individual Ram Madhav has apologized and withdrawn his tweet. Yet you have said, and the Congress seems determined to make this an issue, Vice President targeted on International Yoga Day, yoga is all inclusive, BJP has shown divisive politics. How do you respond to this? Are you trying well, to make an issue out of this now? No, no, not at all, Rajdi. We, uh, we completely backed the International Yoga Day. It was unfortunate that when the whole world was celebrating yoga, the BJP General Secretary tweets something which shows their divisive uh, mindset. It is not only Mr. Ram Madhavji who has come up with a tweet like that. In fact, even uh, the senior BJP leader, uh, Mr. Advani, has made a statement today that this is something that has been propagated by the BJP and Hedgevar and RSS. It is something yoga is something that is being done and it is something being uh, uh, publicized by the RSS. It is something that has been brought to the world by the RSS. If this is what Mr. Advani and Mr. Ram Madhav are saying of the BJP, it takes away the sheen, the kind of yoga that has been practiced in this no, country. Are, are yoga. you saying RPN? No, no, RPN Singh. Are you saying this was a Hindu event? Let's be clear. People from all communities were there. So are you yes, saying I'm that the yoga day was a Hindu I say, event of the I'm, BJP? I'm not the saying RSS yoga is a Hindu. Trying to make it a Hindu it event. Is, yoga has been a part of our culture for five thousand years. For five thousand years, Rajdeep. But with Mr. Ram Madhav and Mr. Advani ji making statements that it is what Mr. Ram Madhav said, though he has apologized later, Advani ji has gone on record saying it is something that has been propagated by the RSS. We are against this divisive politics being brought into yoga. It was a great day for India when yoga is accepted all over the world. Yoga has been practiced by all kinds of people in India, not only in India, but world over. We have people like Mr. Ayengar who have made this a uh, world phenomena yoga. But talking about we have the minister in front of us. If they were so keen on propagating uh, yoga, why is the budget of the Ayush Mantrale been cut from 1069 to a mere 328 crores in this year? While the Congress, when the UPA was in government, the 11th plan to the 12th plan, we increased the outlay for the Ayush. Uh, ministry I, by 235 percent can I, can from I 2000 to 10,000 crores. True? Is it true that you have cut back actually the budget, Mr. Shripad Naik, for the Ayush Mantralai to that extent has actually is no, this all no, a big no, show, can't, a one day big event, a good marketing event or do you, uh, are you really serious in propagating yoga? Definitely, definitely. Uh, Rajiv ji, I can't hear him. I can't hear him properly. Uh, uh, yeah, kindly, okay. kindly. He says, he says, kindly, uh, kindly, Mr. Arpian Singh is saying what, you have cut he the says, budget. Yeah. He is saying you have cut the budget for your ministry. Is that true? No, 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 no. Is there no any difference? Is it, is it true that uh, the likes of Swami Ramdev have been given special favors by the Ayush ministry? Because that is another controversy that has emerged. That they, no, no, never. No special so favors, no yoga a, camps that false. have been organized only through statement. the Patanjali Yoga Peak. It is false. No government no, money has gone no, to Ramdev. It is false. It is it's very much false. Yeah, yeah. No, no government no, money no, has gone to Ramdev. No, no, nothing. Nothing. Sing, single rupee has gone. Yeah. Not a single the rupee has gone, has and there hasn't Rajdeep. been a cut. You're saying there has been no cut in your budget. But yes, yes, yes. Can yes. I ask what? you, R P N Singh, that yes. the, on the other side, I am also seeing both on social media and outside BJP questioning the fact that Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi chose not to be in the country on International Yoga Day, did not participate in the functions. The likes of Arvind Kejriwal did, but the likes of Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi have gone abroad. How do you respond to those who say, well, who question why were they not there?
Well, it is something that they have, they had their travel plans is not something that is decided overnight. And something that if Sonia Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi don't do yoga, that doesn't mean that they don't believe in yoga. I was not invited to Rajpath. That does not mean that I don't believe in the in doing yoga. In fact, I did yoga that very day, but I did it in my home. By saying that if you didn't come to Rajpath, does not mean that uh, uh, you are against yoga. Yoga is something bigger than just one day of photo opportunity. And I reiterate what I said earlier, Rajdeep. The budget of the Ayush from thousand over thousand crores last year has been cut to three hundred and twenty-eight crores this year. This is a factual cut. I, the health if, ministry I, has been what, cut by Was Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi not coming for this program because they felt it was a Narendra Modi event? No, no. It is this event as as it has unfolded. Unfortunately, which should have been a great day of joy for Indians, has been has been ruined by the divisive politics and statements made by Ram Madhav ji, by made by L K Advani ji about how it is a RSS um, uh, induced thing, yoga, and RSS is the one who has propag propagated uh, yoga. Yoga is all inclusive. Thousands of and people have celebrated it across the country, R.P. and Singh. Thousands of people have celebrated it across the country and the world. Yes, I agree. Is, is Hamid Ansari's I, absence or the manner in which the tweets were done going to take away from all that? Is it going to it, detract from from the positives of the event? Definitely, the message it left, like you said yourself, Rajdeep, it leaves the bitter taste in the mouth when Ram Madhav targets some the vice president of this country for the reasons which were expressed by you, Mr. Advani ji. Today has said that. Yoga is something that has been propagated by the RSS, and the RSS should be getting what you call the benefits okay, of the government. Can I just get Shripat, Shripat Naiki? Can you tell me what was the role of the RSS, of Baba Ramdev, of other groups in this uh, link to the Saffron Parivar in this entire uh, 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 organization of International Yoga Day? Were they the driving force, or was your ministry the driving force? Did you use the no, RSS, Baba Ramdev, no, and others no. to drive Our this Ayush event? No, no. Our Ayush ministry was a driver in. No, no, no. They are uh, volunteer. Uh, I think they are volunteer join in the, our Karakam at Rajpath. But right. uh, Ayush is the main driving force. We have, we have uh, oh, keep. Kept was the organization at public. local level? All was public. the organization yes. of local yes. level? Was the organization at local level across India in many parts done through RSS Shakhas and Baba Ramdev's Patanjali Yoga Peet? Were they the driving force of this entire event? No, 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 no. Some, some, whatever, one month before, one and a half month before, mm -hmm. we, have, we have asked some NGOs to send their application that we want to give the training to the people. Were uh, these NGOs all, all linked to the uh, RSS? Were most of these NGOs linked to the RSS? No, no, not no, true? no, no, it, it, it is wrong, it, it is wrong, it is not true, it is not true. Okay. It is not true. I'm going to therefore then give there you many, a... Many, many, many... Yes, go ahead. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, that all NGOs uh, from all over India, mm -hmm. they have taken some district, 10 districts, 50 districts, 20 districts like that, and they have trained the people as well this protocol. Okay, that's your view. Final word to you, R P N Singh. Yeah. Are you, if you are, if you are invited next year to International Yoga Day by the Prime Minister, will you go? Will Sonia Gandhi go? Will Rahul Gandhi go? Well, Rajdeep, I don't want it just to be a photo op. You do it for one day, like we had the Swachh Bharat Yojana, we had the Prime Minister and the whole cabinet taking jhadus and... Uh, you are saying this was only a country. photo op? This you is are saying what happened because yesterday is the only ministry, a photo Rajdeep, Rajdeep, the budgetary allocation shows it. From 1069, they have cut down the Ayush ministry to 328 crores. Sir, I am asking increased. you then, let me ask that to Shripat Naik one last time. Has your ministry's budget been cut down yes. from 1068 crores to 325 crores, yes or no, sir? No, no, sir. We have, we, we, uh, we, we have got we have the same budget. Just hardly some uh, eight, uh, some some uh, uh, one uh, one crore or two crore like that. Okay. That, that is that is a very minor amount. Okay. Yeah. So you are uh, saying there is only a minor it, yeah. cut. And, and so you are saying that what happened yesterday was only one point four five percent in the twelfth plan, Rajiv. Okay. We okay. We are going to leave it there. We are going to yeah. leave it there. We will get our reporters to check the exact budget of the Ayush ministry. We will even put in an RTI to find out where did the expenses of the entire International Yoga Day go. Clearly, it's been a day to celebrate. But unfortunately, that one controversy of Hamid Ansari in particular has left a bitter taste in the mouth. I appreciate uh, Shripad Naik and RPN Singh joining us here on the news today at 9. Thank you very much.